Yao Chen, a former lieutenant colonel staff officer in the Chinese Navy Command, carried out a top secret mission to smuggle a Russian anti submarine helicopter from Laos to China in the 1990s. But due to an internal political power struggle and to appease Russian recrimination, the Chinese military command sentenced Yao to seven years in prison. This experience changed his view of the CCP, and he fled China. In 2021, he gave an interview and shared his insider view of the strengths and weaknesses of the Chinese military. Hello everyone, welcome to my show, I'm Lei. Speaking of the Chinese military's strength, the West has two views. One is the concern over the People's Liberation Army's or PLA's acquired capability due to its recent rapid growth. And the other view is that the PLA is a paper tiger. Mr. Yao said that although the PLA is inferior militarily, it poses a great threat because it will engage in unrestricted warfare with its opponent. One such example is the use of civilians as camouflage during combat. 中共沿海十一个省市海上预备役的渔船都是上万条这些船都很就是装甲船都是机动船是吧它动用这些渔船成千上万条渔船去攻击台湾岛你真没办法这叫超限战你看前一段时间啊有一个人驾着个橡皮
呃司令当了十一年司令，可以说海军师以上的干部都是不胜利器吧。侦察不进，水土不进。你能把海军的十三军官都抓起来吗 ？Xi Jinping was determined to clean up the navy. During his time, the Chinese navy spent lots of money and built more vessels than the United States navy. But there was a problem. 尤其是造了两条航空母舰。问题是花了很多很多钱，造出来这个东西没有用。他生气了。他三年前的时候查那个海军原老司令吴胜利，吴胜利在海军当了十一年司令，查他，最后海军反弹，因为从石云生下来以后，张定发、吴胜利，包括现在的沈金龙，全是上海人，都是江泽民的人。Other than corruption, the second weakness of the Chinese military is the internal factional war. Which has affected its ability to carry out missions. 海军不听他，你包括人家对对台作战，海军很少主动，都是空军的飞机，海军很少主动。一个是装备不行，第二个不太听习近平。他搞海军，一方面他是认为海军花了钱没办事，第二个他就是搞江泽民难看。According to Yao, military officers don't listen to Xi Jinping because they worry about their political future. After seeing how she cleans out the Jiang faction, many PLA officers are now watching and waiting. China has a rule: the next leader who comes in will have to bring the leader of the military with him. He doesn't take the power; he doesn't keep it. Then he will come out and take the power. Now the military officers are also considering. 我要是跟习近平跟得太紧了，你下一名上来一个人说，请你习近平在军队带领人，我又倒霉了。所以现在的军人，特别是高级军官，都是吃前辈，都在观望。In addition to corruption and political infighting, the third weakness is unique to the PLA and the military in other communist countries, and this is probably the deadliest one. That can cost Xi Jinping his war with Taiwan. He has two strategies: political and military strategy. One one year in the military, he has a leader. In the military, he has a leader. He has a leader. In the military, he has a leader. 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 政治机关是政治挂帅的，那飞行大队那个弄了个教导员、副教导员，他是干什么？他是特务，他天天躲在躲在飞行员的窗下偷听，是不是偷听地台啊？写信、拆个看，哎呦，简直就是军事主观都普遍的有意见，就从军队这个体体制。上面来说，打仗他放不开。你比如说，像现在我们要占领一个山头，团长说：“呃，从军事角度说，怎么怎么占。”那政委他一般不懂军事，他是政治，他要给你，他他要给你这个这个，把把自己的政治方面的东西要强加进去，所以战没法打。Colonel Yao said that all PLA military leaders who could win on the battlefield were those who assumed both roles of commander and political commissar. The former USSR military also realized this problem, and they made the political commissar report to the commander. But for the Chinese PLA, political commissars rank higher than the commanders because the party leads the military and is always more important. For this reason, Yao believes that the Chinese PLA is not effective. This is part one of the Colonel Yao's talk. In the next video, I'll share his talk on the CCP's maritime strategy related to Taiwan. I made a video about his experience in China and how he helped the PLA smuggle a Russian helicopter into China. Here it is. Till next time. Thank you. See you soon.